Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Extra Life 24 Hour Stream. We're going to get going in just a few moments. I just got to get everything set up. Well, I am almost have everything set up. Let's see. Uh, so, I hope everybody's doing good. We're going to be streaming for charity. 24 hours, hopefully. And, uh... Yeah, um, I'm going to give you the links to everything in just a moment. Let me know if you can hear it. If you can't hear me, let's see. We're going to have a lot. I'm going to have some guests pop out. There we go. Oops. But yeah, this should be going in just a moment. As you can see, we have played for two minutes technically but not really anyways okay. let me just upload a couple of things copy upload extra live stream twitch and let me like show you the extra life page Should take us to my thing. So yeah, we're gonna be playing a bunch of games tonight. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff. We're gonna have some guests. We're gonna have uh, all kinds of stuff. Charity. So yeah, we're going to be having, um, if you donate, you'll hear like a little thing on the top. Uh, you'll hear a little little sound. And if, uh, yeah, that's it. And then if you, yeah, we'll have the, who donated on the description. We got the 24-hour stream thing going on over here. I'm going to turn on Skype, so in case one of my friends turn, comes on, we're going to be doing that as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. Don't worry about any of the uh, act back back uh, the noise in the back. That's all right. You know, like I said a long time ago, my computer is not in an isolated area, so we're not we're not gonna be able to uh, do anything about that. Um, uh, yeah, whatever. Let me know if you hear it like a... Well, actually, you know what? Hello. Hello. Nah. Yeah. All right. So, we got that going. I got one controller in. Let me stick the other one in. In case anyone else wants to play a two-player game, which I will be doing, hopefully, later on. Um, there we go. That one's plugged in. These are all set. And there we go. Let's see. I just want to make sure everything is sounding normal. So, I just want to go to the settings. Audio. Audio device. Miscellaneous audio. You know what? I'm just going to disable that for right now. All right, there, there we go. I'm gonna mute this. Hello. All right, there we go. Now, now we should have an echo. All right, so let's start this off. We're gonna play a little Darkwing Duck. Now, if you remember, 
I sucked at this game back in the day. If you've been a big fan, let's see. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. All right. Hey, Abel, welcome to the stream, my friend. We can't hear anything. Hmm. Can't hear a damn thing. Let's do setting. You know what? Probably. I'm gonna audio. Default. Disable. Disable. Hello, 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 crime and it. Can you hear me? Can you hear the game? Dark wing duck. Yeah, I don't know why there's no audio for that. You know what's just gonna happen? Is I'm just gonna unplug. There we go. Oh, you can hear the game. Well, I couldn't hear the game. Can you hear the game now? Welcome, Firecracker. Come on. This is why you gotta work out the kinks beforehand. Maybe I'll try this one instead. Hit OK. Nope. I had this. I had this going earlier. I had everything working. Cancel. Let's see. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna shut it off. I'm sure, and we're gonna start it up again. So I believe everybody, everybody's ready. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a few kinks in the beginning. But uh, yeah, hopefully that'll get fixed as uh, as we go. All right. All right. This controller is plugged in, isn't it? I am Darkwing Duck. So. Yeah, we'll be playing a whole bunch of games. Hopefully Dan's going to show up. My friend Dan. Ghosty Films. And then we'll do something else. Uh, apparently I have to I have to put the inputs in because this thing's stupid. Left. Left. Up. Right. Down. Select. Start. B. A. There you go. Hit OK. All right, here we go. Dark Wing Duck. So, if you haven't ever played this game before, I don't know. You probably have. I'm sure you have. Isn't it's an NES classic. It's one of these games that you gotta have a lot of patience to play because um, it honestly is. It's a toughie. So I'm gonna head here first. Wolf Wolf Duck. And he goes out when he gets berserk. What about over here? From the sewer day? No, not liquidator. All right, Quacker Jack. Sure, let's do this. He's at the he's at the the bridge. Now I hope to beat this game, and if not, I might use a little enhancing, as the Stouter would say. I am Darkwing Duck. Yeah, this is gonna be annoying. Let me lower that. There we go. I have to lower the screen. All right, so Darkwing Duck, one of them games you gotta be. Uh... Oh, it's one of them games you gotta uh... you gotta be patient with. And now that I don't have a ten-minute time limit, I think I I think I should be all right. Come on, get on there. And... 
There we go. I think I hit... There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna be work like I said, we're gonna be playing all different types of games. And uh yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. When Dan gets here, we'll figure out what game we're gonna do next. Come on, jump up. There we go. It's like got a weird Ninja Gaiden feel to it. Ninja Gaiden. But yeah, I will um later on I will be doing a little bit of role playing. I I actually gonna um I'm thinking about doing a little Pokemon, if anyone cares. Maybe start a little Pokemon. Play like Pokemon. Hopefully this will work. Play a little Pokemon. What one would people want to see? I don't know. Ah, shoot. Maybe yellow? I don't know. You let me know. In the comment section below, or on the side. Which Pokemon game? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm free to play whatever. I'll play, uh... I'll play any of them. Now keep in mind, I've only played the first two. Or the actually the first three, technically. The original 150. But if someone's interested in me playing something that's not on the original, I'm up for it, I guess. Pokemon Green, or... Whatever I can emulate that's on the, um... On, uh... You know, Game Boy or Game Boy Advance, or whatever. Nothing for the DS, though. You know, back in the day, I actually had, um... I almost got all 150 Pokemon out of the first game. I was missing, I think, Kangakhan or something. I was a big Pokemon fan, but then, uh... It seemed like every Pokemon Crystal... Alright, I can try and do that one. But yeah, it seems like every Pokemon game... Like, ended up being, like, the same... The same game after a while. Like, oh, I'm just gonna collect all the Pokemon. Oh, here's Team Rocket. No, no. Oh. <coughs> but yeah, today I had a, a a rough night. I don't know if Abel, you probably remember yesterday. Oh no! Damn it. Um, at the end of the stream last night, my internet went out for some reason, and so I'm like, it's 12:30 at night for me. So I'm like, screw it. I'm going. I'm gonna see what's going on. I check to see what's going on, and the router's not working, right? So I'm like, alright, let me call the cable company real quick. I call them up, they're like, oh, it's gonna be a 40-minute wait. I'm like, nah, I'm going to bed, right? So then after that, I, uh, I go to bed, I wake up in the morning, and the friggin' thing's still not working, so I gotta call them up. And not, not only... Yeah. Come on. Don't I have, like, uh, different weapons? Thunder gas. How am I supposed to get him? Yeah, so I got disconnected. And what I'm happening was, um... Yeah, it was just a nightmare. I, I had to go to work. I, I work remotely. Uh, and, um... You know, I need the internet to actually do my job. So I'm, like, on the phone telling them, look, I need this thing fixed. Because I, I you know, I work remotely and, I, ha and I, I work from home. So I need you to fix this goddamn thing. And, um... Yeah, I don't have any save states. Let's see. Input. <laughs> nope, not here. Options. Paths. There we go. No, not paths. So, uh, cheats. I don't, I don't think I have any cheats for this. What's up? Input. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to upload the entire 24-hour stream to, to YouTube. 
Oh, so what ended up happening was... I'm going to finish the story in just a second. I'm just looking for save states. Where the hell is it? In preferences? God, it's been forever since I used the simulator. Inputs. Is there another name for over here? I don't know, Vic. Nope. 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 Oh, here we go. Quick state. Save state. So, lefty will here be is. load. Here's another big one. And save state will be... This one will be that. There we go. Alright. So, let's see... Oh, I thought this was going to be a quick save. Damn it. Input. Let's see. File. Alright, so quick, quick save state is going to be this. Yeah, alright. Get rid of the clear. Oh, god damn it. Ah, Quick save state. It's a default. Okay. So, quick save state set is this. Quick load state is going to be this. There we go. Okay. So, there we go. All right. We saved it. All right. So, anyways. Yeah, Nestopia. I figured it out. All right. Yeah, I'm going to... I'll probably... If I do upload this all to YouTube, I will break it off in the trunk uh, chunks. Maybe like hour one, hour two. Okay, there we go. That's how we're going to beat this guy. So anyways, uh, I called up my cable company, and they were like, you know, I was telling them, look, I got to work, in the, I got to work, and um, I need you to get the cable going, or at least the internet. And they're like, oh, unfortunately, we can't do anything here. They didn't tell me anything about the router or anything like that. The lady's like, oh, what, what's the internet say? I'm like, what are you talking about what the internet says? I can't get on the internet. Just, just get a get a tech to come down here. So then uh, I had to like talk to her manager and then that lady's manager. I was like going up three rungs, and I still didn't get the problem solved. They said the earliest that they could get someone over was Saturday or something. Whoops. Oh damn it. So they were saying, like, the earliest they could get someone over. Okay. Alright, now I gotta... I remember this guy. No. Oh, it's midnight in the UK. Well, I'll be... I'll be, uh... I'll be going... For some time. How do I go down? There we go. How do I change the gun? So then I... Then I end up calling one of my friends who's a... A... a he works for the, uh, he works for the damn thing. So I called him up and he, he was telling me, here we go, this should, I can't shoot him. But, uh, yeah, so he, 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 uh, he told me just to restart the router and then that ended up working. How the hell do I get down? Yeah, this is going to be a 24 hour stream. Hopefully I'll be up the whole damn time. How do I get down? There we go. Oh, I have to hit. Oh. Alright, so I think I can... I think I can... Oh, I... Yeah, alright. Shit. But yeah, so, um... So yeah, I had to call up, and then, then it was just a real pain in the ass. And then, so I ended up having to work late today. Because I had to tell my boss, like, uh, uh, you know, the cable, or the internet's not working. And then, um... Then after that, uh, it was just a real pain in the butt all day. Like, I was going to take a quick nap, but I didn't end up getting to take a nap. Friggin' Frontier screwed my whole shit up, man. Oh, it looks like Dan is here. Hey, Dan. What's up? We're doing, we're starting the stream, my friend. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to get over here. We got to figure out what game, what do we want to play, Dan? Doom. Doom? <laughs> I don't know if I have that on on this computer. Uh, I'll have to look it up. What's that, Darkwing Duck? This is Darkwing Duck. Yeah, all right. So here's what we'll do. We'll get through the first level, and then uh, we'll uh, 
let me save state it here. There we go. Look at me doing pretty all right. Oh, I died. Just when you said uh, something positive. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, I got Skype up. Uh, T-Stout might be showing up, Dan. It's going to be a good night. Am I going to be able to hear him if he talks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to set you up in just a few minutes. Okay. Just let me get to the end of the... Let's go, let me get to the boss here. I don't think I've ever played that game or even seen it. Yeah, this is a not bad game. Those I, Disney games used to be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Disney games were pretty good in the back in the day. I don't know how they are now, but... Who's that guy? That guy's got a, a gun. Or a, he's, he's throwing knives. Oh, you can block stuff with your cape? Yeah. What is Darkwing Duck's cape made out of? I think Darkwing Duck's cape's made out of, like... Sh Kevlar? Sheer steel or something. I don't, I don't know. Something? Chrome, maybe? I don't know. Is chrome cool? I, don't, I think chrome chips be. I don't yeah, know. yeah. If you're looking for a metal that deflects knives and bullets, you're not going to want to go with chrome. I mean, yeah. it's shiny. It's shiny, so he's going to have a sweet looking cape, but. Yeah. And it's going to be purple and stuff. And when people inevitably knife you, like they always do. Yeah, that, you know, I've always wanted people to, to knife me. You. Oh. Ah, I got him, Dan. I'm king of the world. Not really, but... Well, sometimes it's good to be king of something. <laughs> yeah, I forget how I did this just just literally minutes ago. I'm king of not being king. So, Dan, Doom. You really want to play Doom, huh? Uh, we don't have to. We can, we can see what else we got. I haven't played Doom in years. Yeah, you know what? I don't know about Doom just because... Uh, shout out to T-Style. Yeah, he should be here. But yeah, um... Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna play Doom just because then then it's gonna take a it's gonna take a while to get like the uh, settings up. Oh. So unfortunately, we'll have to pick a different game, Dan. Mega Man Two. All right, we can play Mega Man Two. Yeah, he's his name's Quacker Jack. Oh, I remember him. I don't. I mean, I vaguely remember. From Show. Right. I don't remember what he did. Yeah, he laughed a lot, I think. He was he was immersed in the ha ha's. Immersed in the ha ha's. Yeah. I love it. It's a good ah god time. damn it. Doom on the 32 K I'm not isn't you talking about Doom on Sega? Then Dan would have to use a controller. He does not like controllers when it comes to his when it comes to his FPS games. Dan is not a fan. Oh god damn it. Dan, I stink at this game. Alright, you know what? Oh the Sega 32X. You know what? Oh, that's how I switch guns. I hit select. Ah, well you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna pause it just for a sec. I made a save state, so we'll come back to this. Alright, so yeah. Let me Let's see here. So let's switch games up and let me get let me get Dan set up in here. Give me just a moment. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 What'd you say? Oh. Dan's talking about what a the cat. And I'm over here like, you know, thinking whatever the hell he said is gonna be important. <laughs> Apply. Hello, can you guys hear us? Hello. Alright. Let's see, Dan. Let's see if we can get a little Mega Man going. 
Okay. We're using our Yeti mic here. Fancy Yeti. Yep, the, the blue one. The blue Yeti. And we're going to play. Is Dan is Dan still getting cat hallucinations? What do you think, Dan? I, I you remember was... remember when we were playing and you're like, "Oh, there's a cat." There's a cat. That was me hallucinating? Yeah, you, yeah, it was something during I think ESO where you're like, "Oh, look, there's a cat." And there blatantly was not a cat. Oh, Pete, there was totally a cat. You just probably turned around. I'm not going to lie to you. You Abel, were like you were like 100 yards ahead of me. And... Even even Abel Dan said that uh because Even, he was looking at your screen, and right. you're always like a hundred yards ahead of everyone at all times. And you, right. by the time you turned around and got to where we were, he was gone. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, put Pete. You, yeah, sound like, you sound like you don't believe me. No, I did. No, no, no. I don't believe you. Anyways, I'm putting the link into the video description. You can uh, check out my extra life page, and if you want to donate for good causes for children's charity. Huh. But yeah, that didn't see either, Dan. So I, I, I think you might be, you might be going cuckoo, cuckoo. I think you might be cuckoo, Dan. Nah, no way. You're cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I love cocoa puffs, but I wouldn't say that I'm cuckoo for them. I'm yeah. probably, I'm more like just enamored of them. Yeah. Well, maybe. Like I would, I would, uh, you know, gaze longingly at a box of cocoa puffs. Yeah. But I'm not like, gonna do backflips or something. Well, you should do some backflips, Dan. Uh, so, who, who should we start with, Peter? I don't know, Dan. Who, whoever you want to start with. I mean, I know you haven't played in a long time. I'm going to raise the volume just a smidge. What are the buttons that work? Uh, X and circle. Right? And then start, too. Yeah, there you go. Start. So, yeah, Dan's going to start with Metal Man. So, Dan, what's been going on with you? Uh, not. It's been forever. Thank you, Abel. You donated $15 dues. Oh, nice. You're the shit. You should have heard, heard a noise on the stream. Like, ba -da -ba -bum -bum -bum. like uh, the um, the uh, level up Dragon Quest thing. Thank you so much, Abel. Oh, nice. You're awesome. And and uh, one thing I didn't mention, and I didn't mention in the beginning of the stream, is every dollar that you donate, I am going to match dollar for dollar up to five hundred dollar. Oh, dues. Pete, you're almost as nice of a guy as Abel is. Yeah. So so right now we're we've got fifteen, and at the end of the whole thing, I'm going to put in whatever else uh, we need, and then uh, we're going to be doing good. Awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Thank you, Abel, man. You're awesome. Abel is an enabler of Yeah, he is. Hey, insufficiently children. sufficient, man. What's up? Who's insufficient? Certainly not Abel. Oh. No, Abel is definitely not insufficient. He's, like, completely sufficient. He is 100% sufficient. Yeah, you've been playing Taurus Adventure and loving the shit out of it. Nice. I'm glad you have, man. It's a good game. I wish they would uh, release, it, release the... Uh, the... Uh, I, apparently they're like doing a remake of it, which should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Wow, Pete, playing Mega Man 2 is just like riding a bicycle. Yeah, you just get right back on it. But yeah, man. Um. So Dan, what have you been up to? You've been uh, you've been rocking everybody's world with your your hahas with your comedy team. Uh, kind of. I mean. Yeah. Oh wait, am I supposed to jump down there? Oh wait. No, no, no. You you gotta go down there. There you go. Um, I don't know if I've been rocking everybody's world, but I have a show at the at the casino on November 11th. If you're in Connecticut, it's a matinee mm -hmm. show, so it's like at 4:30. Oh, look at Dan! Which casino? Because we got multiple ones oh, in Connecticut. It's at, Dan. Uh, Mohegan Sun the Comics, Mo the Comedy Club Comics. Oh, very nice. C O M I. What day is it? No, uh, Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Saturday. Dan. Saturday so matinee. tomorrow. No, it's the no November 11th. Oh, November 11th. Very cool, Dan. And what else have you been up to, Dan? You been doing uh, anything cool? Like, uh, you, you kill anybody recently? I, mean, I haven't killed anybody recently. Yeah. I mean, it's been a while, but, I mean, it's on my things to-do list. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I, like yeah. I just crossed off getting a new muffler. Yeah, right. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, How'd that go, Dan? Um, you yeah, know let's, what? let's hear the story about you and your muffler. What happened there? All right, so, a, like, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving, and I ran over, an, the, uh, like, something in the road. Right, and, and it was a deer. Right, yeah. It was actually a a, a person, but anyway, mm -hmm. um, there's where the the killings come from. Yeah, so mm -hmm. my car was all spattered with blood, and then, uh, like the like when I was driving over mm -hmm. her, the muffler got knocked loose. Really? Yeah, and so once the muffler got knocked loose, my car was making a very loud roaring lion roar mm -hmm. sound. Mm -hmm. And so uh, yeah, he was a lion. We, we we renamed Dan's car to Simba. Yeah. And yeah. so it was it was roaring and then I got pulled over by the police and um 
they, uh, I guess they, he wanted to, he wanted to write mm. me a ticket, but he said I could plead not guilty if right. I got my muffler fixed immediately. Right. And so I got, um, uh, I bought a new muffler and I had my mechanic install it and I mailed in my not guilty plea to the police, um, so that they wouldn't haul my A to mm. the slammer. Yeah. Well, they, they, uh, they also found heads in your, in, like, severed human heads in your, uh, in your trunk. So they are like, maybe I... Maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, but I was like, those it. heads are not mine. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah, guy was, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, that's. Oh, yeah. It happens all the time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We're constantly finding these. Mm, yeah, in these people's heads. Trunks. But yeah, thank you, insufficiently efficient. He said, I love you're doing a charity stream and matching donations. Been following you for years, and I'm glad you're still hum humble and doing things for a good cause. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. But yeah, um. Yeah, so Dan had to get his muffler fixed. Yeah. And now instead of being Simba the Lion, you're like, uh. I'm quiet like a leopard. Like a, like a mouse. Yeah. Like a, like a weird squeaky but mouse. But the, the thing is, like, yesterday I was pulling into my driveway. And, and he uh, ran over that same guy again that, that knocked over his muffler the first time. <laughs> yeah. And then after I ran over that guy, I ran over... Some kid left a scooter in my driveway and I didn't even see it. Oh, and then shit. as I was dro back into the driveway, I just heard all these bangs and scrapes. And I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah. And um, luckily my muffler didn't get ripped off. Because, yeah. like, just my luck, it... The muffler would have been destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so my, my car seems mm. to be healthy again. Yeah. Well, it does have car aids. I believe I we mean, talked about oh, that. Oh, yeah, it does have car aids because of the time that Rob gave it car aids. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's got Magic mm. Johnson car aids. Yeah. It's not like the lethal kind. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's hanging in there. It looks pretty healthy. It's just nailing broads out the wazoo. Yeah, yeah, he's got it, you know. My car, it's it's, it's just he's swinging a, some yeah, D. He, yeah, he's been around the block. Yeah. He or know. she has been around the block. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't wanna, uh. The ladies sit, love my car. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't want, I don't want to, um. Blow up its spot? No, I don't want to, like, uh, something that's pronouns. I forget what the f term is. Oh, like, uh. Something. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, like, misgender your car or whatever. Um, but yeah, gonna... thank you insufficiently. And put, he's going to put some pants on. Whoa, nice. nice. You don't have to put pants yeah, on. Yeah, don't, don't do it on our account. Yeah, I just, mean. Just sw let him swing in the breeze, yeah, whatever like, you got. Like, Dan came over my house, he already had his pants off. I know, I'd lose my pants in the foyer. Yeah, he was telling He was telling my mom, my mom's like, hey, Dan, no pants again, huh? And he's, yep. she, he's like, yep. Yeah. She, and of course, my mom doesn't care. She's yeah. a nurse. She, she, I know, she's seen that stuff before. <laughs> yeah. Some moms are offended, and boy, have I offended mm -hmm. a lot of moms oh, with yeah. my swinging genitalia, but not this time. Your swinging genitalia? I thought you had, I thought you had pants on, Dan. Oh, no pants. Oh, you I'm were saying. doing the no pants. Yeah, pants. yeah, yeah. But like, but we were saying, your mom is a nurse, so she yeah, so she sees it all done. And she actually said to Dan, "I think you might have to get that checked." Yeah. And we're not gonna say what he needs to get. It was checked. a growth. It was, yeah, it was it something. Was a, just a big mm -hmm. growth that um, wasn't it's, looking good. Yeah, because um, it's not a tumor. Yeah, it's not a tumor. Yeah. There you Whoa. go, Dan. We're cr you're crushing it with Metal Blade. Yeah, I can't believe I... I, well, I mean, mm. I feel a little clumsy, but I remember all this stuff. Yeah, it's well, you want, it's just like a bike. Like you said, it's like a bike. Yep. Or that you scooter on, I ran over with my car the other day. Yeah, like you get on a bike, Whoa. and then and then you ride the bike. Yep, and then you and go then off you of remember, a ramp. And then you remember, man, I'm, a, I'm a, a grown man. I should probably take these training wheels off. Yeah, and give this bike back to the kids that I took it yeah, from. Yeah, I know. I mean, I was just going to get food or whatever no. yeah they were just uh i was just gonna go get some food and i could have walked or driven yeah. but no nope. thievery is the route i usually choose for some yeah. reason oh yeah i forgot those things do things yeah these guys i don't think you can beat them with anything at the Whoa. that i know of they're like ostriches or, or giant roosters giant roosters a Although, giant chicken i don't know if roosters uh like that agile uh, I don't know. I haven't seen a rooster in a while, Dan. What about you? Uh, the last time I saw a rooster was my friend kept chickens in his garage. Yeah. And we used to take them out of the garage and put them on the swings and like yeah. throw them up in the air and just play with them and stuff. Yeah. And uh, my friend, eventually he wanted to get rid of them, so his grandfather had a farm and he put the chickens at the farm and they used to talk about how that rooster was just an asshole. Yeah. That. And I think it was because we just uh, like used to play with them and throw them on the swings and... Just throw them up in the air and catch them. Yeah, I heard. I've heard roosters are uh, mean. Are mean. They can be mean. Yeah. I know there was a chicken one time at my aunt's house. Yep. Who bit my brother? And then she's like, "That chicken's gonna be dinner." Oh, did, did, did and you then, eat and it? And then, then no, it was a rooster. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was a rooster. So oh, yeah, the roosters go. are the mean ones, and they got like claws. Yeah, they're jerks. And so mm. you, she chopped off his head and drank his blood, and then we ate him for dinner. Oh, you drank was, you drank the blood. No, 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 my aunt did. Oh, okay. Some yeah. people, uh, some people like they frown upon the blood drinking, but you yeah, know, no, I'm I'm all for it. To each his own. Yeah, I'm all for the drinking of the blood. Oh yeah. Whoa. So yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna have Stouter stop by the T Stout oh, when he no. gets around. Not him. We're gonna have my friend W Balls O Three hopefully stop by. James, even Veteran O One Two One. My sister's probably gonna take over for a little while while maybe I take a nap at some point because uh, honestly, oh, oh damn, you, did you get distracted by the waterfall? I think so. Sometimes I do too. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna use some metal blade because I'm a cheater. Yeah, I, I wouldn't consider it cheating. But they gave you the power, right, Dan? Let me tell you. All right, so uh, a fun story about Mega Man. All right, I was at I was at the Retro World Expo a couple weeks ago, Dan. Yeah. And some guy who didn't have leg or he didn't have arms, he beat Mega Man oh, three. No. Oh, you fell down the thing. I'm bad at this. He beat Mega Man three. He was playing the game with his. He let me uh, let me uh, uh -oh. sorry, Dan. Uh oh, this is not gonna be good. Yeah, this is. I think we just ended it. Oh, okay, good. There we go. There's the link for it for uh, donating, and hopefully you'll hear the um, you'll hear the uh, the doo -doo 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 in the stream. I can't. I don't know. If, I don't know if you heard it when you donated Abel, or whatnot. But yeah, once again, I will be matching dollar for dollar. Pete, you're just like NPR. Yeah, I know, you know. I And already your voice is starting to sound more soothing and yeah, sedate. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, hi, I'm Jad Alpenrad. Oh, nice. And, and and you're Robert Krolwich. Yeah. Oh, you didn't hear Abel? That's stupid, man. I had it set up. Is this where there's a whole bunch of spikes and whatnot? No, no, that's a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, um... So what story was I telling? I, I will You're talking about NPR? No, before that. Wheelchair guy? Wheelchair guy. Oh, yeah. So, no, he didn't He didn't even have a wheelchair. The dude just played the game with his feet. Like, what? like his feet were his hands. He didn't and have he, hands? No, he didn't have arms. Why was he in a wheelchair? His he legs... wasn't in a wheelchair. No, he was not. He was playing the game on the ground with his feet, and he beat Mega Man 3, all right? Did you watch him beat the whole game? I watched him beat the whole... Well, I didn't watch him beat the whole game because I was mending the table. Oh. But, um... But, um... What was it? I had a... Uh... Oh, you didn't hear it? Damn, man. I thought that I had it set up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it now. Oh, shit, you can kill those with that. I didn't know that. I always used to just, just hide in the corner. But yeah, so I was at the Retro Game Expo. This guy beat the game. I wanted someone to beat a game on the Retro Pie. And, uh, and I would give him... I, I was going to give him something. So he beat. So he beat it, right? Uh -huh. He beats. He beats Mega Man three using his feet, and I give him. A, I give him a Perla beat art for free. A Mega Man, Perla beat art. So um. Well, if you can beat that game with your feet, I mean. You yeah. Can... So one of the things was that I wish I talked about. Like there was one guy who came by. He's like, oh, you know, how's the Raspberry Pi on like um. The, Zebulon it's called, five. No, it's called like late. It's called the latency. Like if you hit the button, how does it react? Like when you hit the button, does he automatically jump or whatever? Right, so he was asking about the latency or the uh, or the input lag. Right, is another word, another phrase is the input lag for the Raspberry Pi. And I'm what's a Raspberry Pi? The uh, little system, the little computer systems that you can play uh, all kinds of games on with your feet. No, no, no. Well, I mean, this guy played with his feet, so you can play it with your feet if you're good. But um, yeah, watch out for the crabs here. But uh, so I wish I told him like, dude. If you have a problem with, uh, like, the little, the minor bit of input lag on it, like, there was this... Oh, shit. Oh, uh, there was this dude who beat it with his feet. Yeah. Come on, now. That stinks. You didn't hear anything either? No. This is a, this is a bunch of poopy. I had it set before, from before we started. I can't believe it because I tested I tested everything out like yesterday, because I was like, I was like, let me test everything out, make sure everything's working properly. Like I can't obviously connect it, connect the stuff together, and, and then do it like on the fly, like put all the controllers and everything all set. But yeah, you're probably gonna end up hearing just me through the Yeti for the rest of the evening, maybe. 
Or I might, or maybe when I don't have a guest, I'll switch back to my own headset, but we'll probably be using the Yeti for a lot of stuff. And so, yeah, my sister, she has Fire Emblem Warriors, Dan. What's that? It's a video game, and she's gonna oh. she's gonna probably play that or Splatoon, and then What's you'll that? be. It's another video game. Splatoon, the, like a Splatoon. It sounds splat like a Splatoon. What does that even mean? It means uh, splat is like you know like paint and stuff. She plays as a squid, and she's gonna splat people. Oh. Yeah. It's good stuff. I repeat, how do I do this without killing myself? Well, you can always yeah, you could do this, Dan. And if you can't do it, I mean, if you end up getting a game over, Dan. I guess maybe you... I can handle it, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Ah. There we go, Dan. Pete, I peed a little that time. Oh, oh. nice. Whoa, she... Huh. So, Dan, it, let me ask you this question. What's that, Pete? If you were playing... Let's say... What's your favorite drink to play while you're playing a game? My favorite drink to yeah, play? Yeah, like, like either a booze or some sort of beverage. Uh, what's I, you looking for? No, uh, maybe yeah, down... Oh, yeah, that's Todd's. We've got to go back to Todd's house eventually. But, yeah, Dan, do you have any favorite booze to drink while you play a game? I usually just drink a Corona and then... Actually, I drink a shot of uh, whiskey. Yeah, like when we play ESO, what are you drinking? Because sometimes you're drunk when we play that. See, there we go. Yeah, I heard it that time. See, there we go. Donation complete. Thank you, Insufficient Fun. Did you hear it? Everybody heard that? Whoa, thank you for that, man. That is awesome. Who is that? Uh, insufficient fun. Did you donate? I think fifty bucks. Very nice. Oh, Thank you nice. so much, Thank man. Thank you. You guys are helping out the local children's hospital in Connecticut. It's yeah. gonna be awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. It's called the. Uh, they're called the. Uh, what is the name of the hospital? Miracle Hospitals. And actually, one night, one thing about it too, guys, is um. One thing about it as well is that like, not extra life is actually a very good charity to donate to. Are you gonna you gonna call from? No, somebody? I'm gonna take a picture of the password because I was about to die. Oh, yay, smartphone! But yeah, extra extra life is uh, extra. I could just write it down for you, Dan. Already done, Pete. <laughs> That's Jeez. the power of the information age. But yeah, extra life is actually a very good like one of the big things about like donating to charities that I try to do when I donate to charities is I make sure to find out what their charity uh, score is or whatever. And uh -huh. actually, extra life is a very good is very high on the charity score. Rating. I think there's like a thing called like the charity. They they pretty much find out how much money how much money when you donate money goes to the actual cause and and extra life is very good. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's very good. So, oh, Airman, you might have a little bit of trouble with that. You know what we forgot to do, Pete? What did we forget to do? Cheesy one-liners. Yeah, Dan. What's up? Going by? But um, no, I don't have a webcam on. Don't worry about that. But uh. Yeah, um, no, nah, Dan. Cheesy one-liners at this point, like, we would, I would, you know what? But we could make a Perone in the, in the right, spur right. of the I moment, guess, Pete. I guess, I guess we could. I guess we could, Dan. So we got Airman. And look, these guys, I, I think I always mention they look like grandmas. Yeah, they do You know what I mean? Like, like, I think they're going for, oh, he's got a cloud for Especially hair. the horns. Yeah, the, yeah, my grandma used to have horns. Yep. And she'd be like, you get away from the thing. And I'm like, nah, Grandma, you got horns. Yeah. She was actually part Minotaur, so it's all right. Yep, sometimes Minotaur grandmas are just something you got to yeah, deal with growing up. Because her, her parents was a Minotaur, too. Uh-huh. And uh, then she had, like, horns. But she didn't have the hooved feet, which was kind of... Oh, no! Which was kind of nice, you know what I mean, Dan? Yeah, I mean, you don't want... Hoofs scuffing no, up your carpet. Right, yeah. Hoof feet in this day and age is probably not good. Some people take so, a lot of pride in their carpet, and you just don't right. want all that, like, bovine markings all over right, it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and I don't know about you, but I found out that minotaurs can't go downstairs, Dan. Really? I thought that was no. just cows. No, but it's minotaurs as well. It's hard for them to head back downstairs But they because of the hooves and stuff. Yeah, but they walk upright. Like Yeah, yeah, Dan, I know. Pete, I think I know a little bit more about minotaurs than you. Dan, I took a class in fictional uh, creatures. Is that true? Not even close. CP, I knew you were lying because yeah. I happen to be the you, Connecticut's you the... foremost expert on minotaurs. Oh, see? I knew it, Dan. So then then you were able to follow the genealogy of my uh, grandmother's uh, family, huh? Probably if I saw your family mm -hmm. tree. Yeah, I'd have to bring it to you. Yeah. But yeah, um, my, my great, great, I think it goes back like... Like a couple hundred generations, but I want to say my family was the Minotaur. You remember that? Remember that story where the guy 
have to bring the yarn into the labyrinth? Of course I do, Pete. Yeah, Dan, because you're the you're the history you're the uh, Minotaur. Connecticut's foremost <laughs> expert. Oh crap on Minotaurism. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I believe that he uh, that was definitely one of my ancestors, and unfortunately he was. Uh, I think he was brutally murdered by Theseus. I think that that's what uh. it was. Yeah, you know, he was just trying to, you know, find a lady. Because it's hard to find a lady with a minotaur. I mean, he's got this... He's like, I got this big labyrinth and no one to share it with. You know what I mean? You know, P, and I have so a confession like, to make. What? I don't know the first thing about minotaurs. You really don't know anything about minotaurs? I know then? what they look like. Well, of course, Dan. Everybody knows what minotaurs look like. I'm trying Pete. to tell you. I'm, I'm like, you know... I'm friggin', uh, you know, opening up my family tree here about mini you know, minotaurs, and you're here like, oh, I'm, a, I'm just gonna make up that I, uh, I'm the world's blah blah blah. It's like, come on, Dan. I'm sorry, Pete. I feel oh, like I, class. I really betrayed your trust, and oh crap! Oh, you fell through the smallest crack. I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nicely done, Dan. Oh no. But yeah, um. I believe Theseus killed the crap out of my great 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 grandfather. Man, it's a shame. Yeah, and all he wanted was just a a nice lady. Although it could have been, you know, I don't remember the the whole story behind it. I mean, they all, you know, it's history is written by the winners, Dan. Yeah. So you don't really get to hear the Minotaur's point of view. The point of view, yeah. Yeah. And you know, the Minotaurs all got cousins. They're um. What do they call them? They're fawns or whatever, you know, like Tumnus? Oh, yeah. He's a, uh, yeah, yeah Seder? fawn. Seder? Or f or no. A fawn, but a fawn. I think it's similar to a Seder. Uh, no, wait. Yeah. Isn't a Seder like a Jewish custom? Oh, uh, I, I don't... Or is that a Seder? Yeah. I don't know what we're talking about, Pete. Yeah. I'm not intelligent. Yeah. All right. Uh, insufficiently efficient, sufficient. Thank you for uh, donating, man. Come back if, if you get a little bit of time. I mean, we'll be here all night. But, uh, yeah, um... Yeah, so the Minotaur, you know, they they didn't, they didn't tell you they they love battle axes. I don't know if you know that, Dan. Oh, I did not. Yeah, they love battle axes. It's one of their favorite things. I right, don't fall on this hole. There you go, Dan. Look at me being safe and careful. Yeah, sorta. There you go. All right, you did it. You got past that hole. All right, can you make it past this one? It's two. Yay! Huh. So yeah, Minotaurs, Dan. Can't live with them, can't live without them, I always Yeah, say. and unfortunately now they're sort of extinct, and not really extinct, but, you know, they've been bred out of humans, so you don't really see them. Yeah. But like I said, hooves, walking around in like, in like regular structures nowadays with hooves, Dan, it's, it's tough. Yeah, escalators. Yeah, like, can you imagine a minotaur having to be on an escalator nowadays? God damn, that would be that would be, tr that would be rough. Yeah, I know, they, they, they gotta go, you know, I wonder if, if the minotaur would... Or, you know, if a Minotaur, let's say there was one around in, in current times, do you think they would take, like, one of them rascals? It'd be hard for them. Like the, a rascal the, scooter? The rascals are more like you'd control it with your your hands, right? Yeah, I mean, there's no, they can operate a rascal scooter. No, well but you don't use, there's no pedals on the rascal. You, I mean, you recently used one, right? I don't, I haven't used one recently. Right. Because if there's no pedals on the rascals, those Minotaurs can handle can handle the, the top. I would think a minotaur would be quite capable of handling a now, let me ask, now let me ask you this, Dan, about minotaurs, all right? Since yep. you're still, we're going to, let's let's continue on the premise that you're, I mean, you're Connecticut. I, I could talk about minotaurs all day, even though I lied about being Connecticut's yeah. number one authority on minotaurs. Yeah, so here's the thing, Dan. Um, minotaurs, uh, <laughs> the, their head, they're, they're f like lady minotaurs. They have to wear a top, right? <clears throat> They just can't go around just with their boobs out, can they? I don't think... Because men can. The men minotaurs can because the fur is covering their junk on the bottom. I don't know if minotaurs... Uh, I don't know if they're as um, prudish as human So societies. you're saying... A, so, like, if you saw, like, a minotaur... Like, I think they're liberated, Pete. I think they just right. let well, the I was going to say, if you saw them, like, walking up the street, would you just scream at, hey, cover it up, or anything like that? I don't think I would say that to anybody. You, what about if you're like, there's children here. Would you do that? No? Uh, maybe. <laughs> it depends on, like, whether they're carrying a battle axe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. bat a, ba a battle axe having <laughs> minotaur is quite formidable from yeah, what well, I, I understand. I think, uh, I think even the female minotaurs wanted to... Uh, Use battle axes, I believe. Yeah, I mean, liberation and all that. Yeah, right? like yeah, equality. Yeah. yeah. They're much oh, freer yeah, they, they, society yeah, of course. Than, yeah. than our Puritan ways. 
Oh, the, the head of a bull and the body of a man. See, I thought it was the other way around, where... I thought that they had, like, the head... The head and the uh, legs of a man. Uh, oh, Dan, you are really screwing this up. Yeah. The head and the legs of a bull. Okay, here's what here's what it is, Pete. They have a, the head of a bull, the torso and arms of a man. Right. And then, like, if you picture a pair of pants that are, like, uh, bull pants. Right. That's what they got. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm just wondering if they cover up, like... Is there like a big, is there like a big, you know, is there a department store or something that sells minotaur apparel? Clothing? Yeah, apparel, like bras for the ladies or even like a shirt. I guess a regular shirt would probably be fine, right? Um, I would think so. Yeah. I mean, it would have, probably have to be a, a, like a extra larger, large yeah, yeah. size. Because like. most minotaurs that I know, they work out, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, they're ripped. Yeah. I mean, they're... I, have you ever seen like a flabby minotaur? <laughs> no, I've never seen a flabby minotaur. I mean, boy, would that be, that would be like a sad state of affairs. Yeah. If, oh man, that, that minotaur needs to go to the gym. Yeah, I know. He'll be the laughing stock the of the entire Minotaur the society. Only, the only Minotaurs that I know that like get a little flabby are like the older Minotaurs, but the, but they yeah, they, you Minotaur know, man tits are common. Yeah, um, I mean they've been around for years, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fault them. Yeah, for for whatever you know. Pete, how many Minotaurs do you know? I know at least three. What are their names? There's Randy. Oh, there's, Randy. There's um. I love that Minotaur. Copernicus. There's one uh, one named Copernicus. And then one, her name's Liz. How, so, mm -hmm. uh, so where do you know these minotaurs from? Oh, the, you know, some of my friends online, you know. Okay. I know one, they, she lives in New York, you know. Okay. Copernicus, he lives in Greece. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Man. Uh, and, like, how did you meet up? Oh, wait, I went on minotaurmeet.com. Oh. Come on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's, a, so. it's, the number one, it's the number one website to meet all minotaurs, Dan. <laughs> okay. Sexual or non-sexual, uh, relationships. Yeah, exactly, Dan. Okay. Yeah, so minotaurmeetup.com. Is that why you met them, like for, for like internet? Well, yeah, uh, you know, I, I was going I, cybering I, you, as they no, as the kids no, are Dan, saying. Dan. The thing was, I found out that my great or my grandmother, she was part, she was part minotaur. Remember, <laughs> we, she had horns. So I yeah. went on, I went on uh, minotaurmeetup.com, and I was like, you know, I was just trying to find other people that might have been minotaurs. To be like, hey, my grandma's a minotaur, you know, huh. or whatever, part minotaur. What do they do for a living? Most of the time, they they kind of just live in caves, like, and they usually work behind the counter at certain stores. Oh, like what store? Yeah, like sometimes they work at like the the Euro fact the Euro store, you know. Oh, whoa! Because even though they're a minotaur, it doesn't mean that they're not a hell of a salesman. At least oh, that's yeah. what at least that's what uh, Copernicus told me. Oh, nice! He can sell the hell out of a Euro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what um, I mean? What? A Giro, you know, Giro, oh, a, Giro, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giro, Giro. Oh, what do you call them? Gyros, gyros, know, whatever the thing that gyros, spins on the meat and then gyros. they slice it off or whatever. Hero, something like that. Hoagie, is hoagie, man. yeah. So they sell a hell of a sandwich. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you you know this, Dan. Besides, like minotaurs are known for baking, maybe. Baking. Yeah, they got breads and all kinds of stuff, Dan. I did not know that. You just played a fighting game with a bull as a playable character. Yeah, I think. Honestly, the. The Minotaur story that I used to read all the time before I met some Minotaurs was Kaz the Minotaur. He was part of the Legend of Huma. Huh. It was a Dragonlance book. You ever read those books back when you were a younger Dan? No. Dragonlance books? I think books? I may have read one of them, but it seemed a little silly. Yeah, yeah. I, I did. I was always into more like... Uh, actually, I don't know if I've really read too many fantasy books. Yeah. Well, um, you, talk, you talked about that one Merlin, that one... Magician book you used to read. Belgarath the Sorcerer? Yeah, Belgarath. Would I ever stream a Final Fantasy V yeah, board job fiesta run? What is what is that, Abel? I we have done I remember I, I did a Final Fantasy V way back in the day. Way back in the day. With my sister. We played together. That was one of the, that was a fun co op. But what's a, a fiesta run? Does that mean I don't like get job classes or something? Oh, You're shit. You're killing these spring guys real good, Dan. So I think I've run out of Minotaur oh. material, Dan. Yeah, I'm, I feel like, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, uh... I feel like I've reached a new low to, on the stupidest conversation <laughs> I've ever had in my life. What are you talking about, Dan? That was pretty good. All right, fine. Let me check, let me, let me, uh, flip the page here, and then check off, uh, what we're doing next. Let's see, Dan. 
What's another what's another uh, thing we can discuss? Um, yeah, Dragonlance was good. I used to read Legend of Huma. Kaz the Minotaur. There oh, was, he's uh, immune to this. There was... Uh, what is it? Oh, you are really screwing that up. Oh, you did it. Yep. I was Look inside that. him and he blew up. Yeah. A charity event takes place somewhere where the site chooses one job per crystal and you can only use those jobs the entire run. I'd be interested in that. I mean, I, I, I think I'm pretty good at uh, Final Fantasy that I could probably do that. Charity. But, um, yeah, I could probably do that if I knew where, when it was. You know who would be really good at that, Abel? Vet, man. He could probably handle that. Because he could find the good in almost any job class except Berserker. Are we doing Flashman now? I think so. Yeah, I was just saying the Berserker job class. Oh yeah, everybody. So so they well they roll like a dice, and then they uh, and then they read it. So Dan, let's uh, let's talk about something real now. What's that? Blade Runner. Right? Oh yeah. So me and Dan, uh, we had a good conversation about Blade Runner the other day, like on last Sunday. We both went to go see Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Uh huh. And it was really good. Yeah. And we discussed it, and we were like, "Yo, Blade Runner, it's." It's good. And then uh, we discussed stuff about it. Like, uh, I don't know if anyone else has seen it or if anyone cares, but it was good. Yeah, I liked it quite yeah. a bit. I like the first Blade Runner. I'm actually reading right now, uh, do, an uh, electric Androids. do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. And that's pretty good so far. I mean, they, they would definitely, I would definitely consider it more inspired by than based off of. Like, there is some stuff that is about... There is some stuff from the book that is in the movie, but there's a lot of stuff that's ah. not. You're going to get crushed right now. Oh, look at you. You won. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look at you. You won again, Dan. Dan Brown keeps winning. Oh, did you hear that a lot of people hate your books now? Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Why All is of that? A sudden, I don't know. All of a sudden... Oh, yeah. The reviews on uh, Blade Runner... I lo uh, You know, I... Uh, Apparently it didn't do too hot in the theaters, but um, but uh, yeah, the reviews for it were pretty good. I thought. I enjoyed it, but there were just a few things about it that I thought were inconsistent or strange. Yeah. Like, for example, the fact that they had genetics, and we talked about this the other day. But in the first Blade Runner movie, um, they talked about they like when Roy Who Batty that thing and fly huh? across. Oh, you think you can do the jumping? All right, we're going to be quiet. Let's see if we can do it. Whee! He did it. Good job, man. Yay. You're killing it today. But yeah, Roy Batty went to go get an eye or something. Yeah, he went to go talk to the eye guy because he um, he wanted to have his lifespan ex expanded. And the eye guy was like, I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. I just do the eyes. And so mm -hmm. it, it almost seemed like... So were the androids built... Um, like mm. were were all the components built mm. separately and then assembled afterward? Yeah, like, like if, at the Ford factory. Like if Roy, if uh, he went to the next door down, he'd be like, "Oh, I'm the, I just do dick and balls. I'm the dick and balls guy." <laughs> and, uh, and so, okay, that'd be pretty good though. That'd be pretty funny. So if that is the case, then mm -hmm. um, why why did the dick and ball guys make uh, uh, mm -hmm. eggs and sperm? Like why did he make functional mm -hmm. genitalia? And if it's if it works that what are you way, doing, Dan, this guy's not weak to crash. Oh, he is. Yeah. I thought I thought he was only weak to uh, Quick Man. No, Bubble Man. Pete, I'm like the Connecticut's first and foremost. <laughs> get out of here with that. Expert man. on Mega Man Two. On Flash Man. I, I yeah. feel like you should like mm. kind of defer to my expertise yeah, on this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, sure, Dan, sure, um, sure, Dan. So anyway, like, which is it? Are they assembled or are they? grown in a like if they were if all the androids were grown in some kind of s synthetic womb and they were they were all like they just entered dna code like genetic code into the womb computer and then a, a thing would come out mm -hmm. and there was like room for mutation or maybe somebody entered in a like a sequence for functional genitals Genital, yeah yeah I could understand, like maybe there well, could be an accident and they would have a, Dan, a baby I, but I don't know I don't know if you know this Dan but the most complicated thing all right, all right, we're take it easy, man. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you see you later. But yeah, uh, the most, the most, uh, 
The most complicated thing to make on uh Oh Todd, welcome. Oh no. Did you see that thing I, I left you on Instagram, Todd, about the uh the spine thing for the sixty four games, man? You should you should think about getting those. So then you know all the games and everything when you're looking at them. But anyways, yeah, the hardest thing to make on a replicant, Dan, I don't know if you knew this. What? But the guy told me, and they even wrote it in the book, is dick and balls. Oh, yeah. And, and vaginas and, and ovaries and stuff. They're like, dude, that's the hardest part to make. Cause oh, then, no. Because then they're like, how big do you make them? Um, how big do you make them? Um, how, yeah, you, you know, how well endowed do you yeah, want this? Like, you want huh? this android made to just right, yeah. slang, you want, yeah. lay some pipe. Yeah, so he's most of the time they're very, they're un, unsure of the uh, the the size, the package that they're gonna give these uh, replicants. Dan, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, and so sometimes the the reason why they ha they have like an inferiority complex because you give really? them like this small wang or even a big wang, but they're only around for four years. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's crazy. I think that's what it was. Was it? It's like they were alive for four years. Yeah, in the first uh, movie. Yeah, which is sucky, man. That sucks. I feel bad. I mean, honestly, I look at Roy Batty and I'm like, man, oh. that guy is justified for killing all these people, especially when he crushes that guy's head ah! with, his own, with his own hands, Dan. Yeah, like he put his thumbs in his eyes. Yeah, I know, and that was all real, except I did for that the part once. where, yeah, well, you got it. Sometimes you gotta crush people. Yep. Crush your enemies. See them driven before you. Mm -hmm. What was that? See them driven before you and oh, hear yeah. the limitations of their women. Yeah, Dan sucks, Todd. Oh. That's right, he does. Hey, Todd, why don't you go <laughs> blow me? <laughs> Classic Dan. <laughs> He's got nothing good to say. <laughs> hey, I've got a few good things to say. Uh, all right, let's see if you can do it. Don't don't blow it, Dan. Shut up, Todd. I, Pete and mm -hmm. Todd, you can both go... <laughs> Blow me. Yeah. yeah, just like a dick. <clears throat> right, Dan? See you anon, right? <laughs> oh, I hate Todd. <laughs> oh. oh, is he going to make it? You got one more to go? Can you do it? Of course I made it, Pete. I'm uh, Connecticut's first and foremost leading authority on yeah, Mega Man 2. on lasers. On and lasers, Mega Man 2, what have you. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah see you anon. Todd remembers. Todd can Th go. Hey, you should probably uh, use an energy tank, Dan. Really? Yeah, Dan. You got like four of them, don't you? Pete, I don't need an energy tank. Sure. How many lives you got? Oh, you okay. You, I guess you could technically die. Oh, right. you got four. You can't gain any more. See you anon. Yeah, maybe I should look that up, uh, Todd. And We'll what do is a it, little, this one? We'll do a Flash little, Man? Yeah, we'll do a little Great Gatsby. <clears throat> we'll play a little Great Gatsby, you remember that? Pete, <laughs> I was right in every argument that we had in that. I don't remember. I, I know <laughs> you don't remember, because you're not very good at remembering things. Yeah, no, but I remember my grandmother was a minotaur. Well? Yeah, I bet you need a tank, that's what Todd said. Oh, shut up, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, those spine things for the 64, man, they're pretty cool looking. They even got like, and and if you buy that one for, I think, in $19, you get like the whole set. You get like every game, which is pretty nice. Yeah, that's the one thing, yeah, that's one thing, uh, <laughs> Grandma was a Minotaur, classic Dan. <laughs> Todd saying, Grandma was a Minotaur, classic Dan. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Your, your Grandma was a Minotaur. <laughs> Yeah, but it's still classic Dan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's one thing I gotta mention about like the sixty fours is like I don't you wish that like they put like a little thing on top that said what the game was. I mean for the most part people were probably gonna store their games like that. It doesn't make sense that they didn't do it back in the day. Yeah. So now Dan's at the hardest level here, Heat Man, right? I I think this was the one I always had the most trouble with. Yeah, well, let's see if you can handle it. You know, if you leave one of them alive or two of them alive, and like uh, behind you, they won't, and you just like let them come. You can. Uh... Oh no! There you go. Now let that guy go. Oh, you're going too fast now. But yeah, Nintendo said, "Fuck all y'all." Who says "fuck all y'all"? Are you gonna go for it? Are you crazy enough? He did it. He's crazy. Of course, Pete. I'm Connecticut's first and foremost leading authority on... On lava. Yeah, oh. and brick pole things. Yeah, floaty things. 
Oh shit. Who says fuck all y'all, right? Ant. There we go. Ant says fuck all y'all. That's right. You know, I wish I could get Ant for this stream. That would be pretty sweet. Uh, that would be pretty sweet. I should call him up. He called me up the other day. He was asking me about um, he was asking me about Dragon Quest Six. You know that guy? He bought a uh, he bought a uh, a I wouldn't consider it like a pirated copy of Dragon Quest Six, but he bought one that it was Dragon Quest Six in an NES cartridge. Yeah, he's waiting by the phone. <laughs> I should call him up. Like Ant Man, what's up? Where you no, you know what? He's probably working. That guy's a hard worker, last time I remember. You know what you're doing, Dan? I think so. Yeah, Ant um was the one was the, was Ant the one who kept eating the pizza in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Let's Play? I Oh damn Abel, you're talking about the one that we did for the four player one? Yeah, that might have been him, man. Yeah, I think I had Ant in a let's play. Holy shit, Abel. Good memory, man. Yeah, I don't even know. Was I in that one? You might have been. I think it was me, you... Maybe Todd was there. Yeah, he's probably pushing the carts at the depot. But, uh, yeah, man. Ant, let me tell you a good story about Ant, right? We were over... I don't know if you guys know a lot about Pepperidge Farm or whatever. Oh, Pepperidge Farm remembers. Yeah, so Pepperidge Farm is this place that they sell, like, all kinds of baked goods. And, uh, interestingly enough, it started in, um... I think its headquarters are located in Connecticut, Dan. So, anyways, really? yeah. So, um, anyways, we were over at my buddy's house, and um, he brought out like this little square Pepperidge Farm cake. Probably you could you could probably have like twelve people eat the eat the cake, right? This is why I always use that thing, Dan. So yeah, twelve people can eat this cake. Rob brings it out. He's like, "Hey guys, you want some cake?" So uh, he puts it down, and then like we're talking or whatever. Aunt opens the thing up, and he eats like the entire cake. Oh, it was me. It, okay, so for the Ninja Turtles game, it was Dan, Rob, and Aunt. See, I thought Todd was was included there. For some reason, Todd, I thought you were in a LP. I, I'm not sure, but anyways, Aunt ate the whole cake, dude. Wow. He ate the whole cake. It was for like 12 people. He ate the whole damn thing, and we were screaming. I'm like, dude, why'd you eat the whole cake? It's craziness, Aunt. You're crazy. Dan, you're just crazy. You're, you should. You're crazy. Oh. I, I knew it. He was crazy. Yeah, I was there burning CDs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you were here too, Todd. Oh yeah, that's when we were taking music from each other. Right, right, right. Yeah, but um, yeah, man, good times. Aunt would eat the whole cake. He ate a whole cake. It's craziness. There was one time. There was one time I was with uh, my buddy Chris and Rob, and we were at his house. And Chris went to go answer the phone, and it was his girlfriend. And he was eating Lucky Charms at the time, so he leaves it over there. And then all of a sudden, Rob just starts chowing on the Lucky Charms, and there's none left, right? And Chris comes back in the room, and he's like, what the hell happened to my Lucky Charms? And Rob just tore the shit out of it. Oh, it was a good time. Goddamn fun times. Look, Remember I'm doing it this way like a sissy, Pete. Yeah, yeah, that's how you should do it, Dan. Not like a, that's not like a sissy. That's like a, that's like a champ. Yeah, yeah. There was okay. Here's another good story about Ant. All right, so we were all <laughs> over here hanging out. This is this is and um, and we were gonna play some games or whatever. And we were kind of hungry, so we're like, let's go to Wendy's and get some food. And we were all gonna get frosties, right? Like sm little, the little small frosties or whatever. So we asked, you know, who wants a frosty? Who wants a frosty? Who wants a frosty? We get to Ant. Everybody's like, yeah, we'll get a frosty. And we get to Ant, and Ant says, yeah, can I get a frosty? And then he's like, and then he's like, yeah, can I get a double bacon cheeseburger? And we're like, dude, man, we're not getting you shit, man, because he's because they're like, dude, we're just getting frosties, and he wanted like a whole meal, and so we didn't get him shit that night because it's like, and then he he never ever wanted to pay for anything, Dan. Huh? Ant never paid for anything. There was one time he didn't even pay for his his girlfriend's friggin'. He Abortion? Even, no, no, no. He was he, her birthday was coming up, and he was like we were at Todd's house for a party, and uh, it was his girlfriend's birthday coming up, so he didn't have money to buy a card. Uh -huh. How don't you have like a dollar or whatever to go buy a card, right? He never had his wallet. That's right, that's right. He never had his wallet. So we were at we were at Todd's house. We were playing. Uh, we were we. I I don't remember what the hell was going on. I think it was a party. 
So Rob made a birthday <laughs> card for his girl for Anthony's girlfriend, all mm-hmm. right, Katie, and he had everybody sign it. And so we, I believe, what we ended up eating that night was pizza. Everybody chipped in for the pizza. Ant didn't chip any money in for the pizza because he's a cheap bastard. So then what ended up happening is my buddy Rob, no Chris, he ended up taking the the birthday card from Ant that Rob made, <clears throat> all right, and he ripped it up and. And he just got so pissed off, like, oh my god! I, if we had a, if we had the webcam up, I would show you like how angry he got. And he like got up in his face and like did like a fake punch to Chris. And then he and he screamed, "Fuck all y'all!" And he left. And it's like, dude, I forget who said who said who says who fuck all. I think it was Rob probably. He's like, who says fuck all y'all? Yeah, that was 2006, the summer of Todd. The back, summer of Todd. Yeah, back when he lived in his condo. <clears throat> oh. We would go over his house, have parties, and play games and stuff. Good times. The summer of Todd. I I drew I animated that condo in a cartoon. Yeah, so it, it will forever be immortalized. Yep. Which is pretty cool. But yeah, he never wanted to pay for anything. The one time we brought him to, uh, we brought him to, um, what the hell was the his name? The insane we, asylum. No, 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 not the insane asylum. The um. One time we brought, we were going, we were like, dude, we were telling him, dude, bring your ID, because we were going to bring him to um, the adult bookstore, uh-huh. and the guy didn't even bring his ID, and we were all out there, we're screaming at him. That was the same night, That I believe that was the same night that, like, I think there was, like, six of us that went, <clears throat> and the lady's like, nah, you all can't come in here, and we're like, what? She's, she didn't want, like, six guys coming in the place, and we're like, get the hell out of here. It was crazy, Dan. Can I do this? I don't know. You did not do it, Dan. Yeah, the minivan. Yeah, and then there was one time where, um... Oh, Dan, you probably shouldn't have done that. You probably have to shoot that. Yeah, Milford Book and Video. That's the place where we went <coughs> to bring, uh, Ant. And, um, he didn't even bring his ID. We were like, dude, bring your ID. And he Oops. didn't even bring his ID. It was unbelievable. You remember he had, Todd, you remember he had that giant change purse? And, and he used to carry that around like an old lady. And, like, one there was one time where he had to get, like, some money. We, we were at, at my house. And he had to get some money. And he had this giant change purse. And he took it out. And he's counting, like, quarters and shit. It was fucking crazy. I was like, what the hell is this guy's deal? Ah, Dan. It was just good. Good <sighs> times. I remember Aunt choked me one time. Ah... Are you sure he choked you, Dan? It was like Chewbacca and Lando Calrissian. Oh, like that. Yeah, like I was. We were. I we were at a party in your backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I like uh, all of a sudden, for some reason, I just felt like iron arms coming up behind me and like forming around my neck, like some yeah. kind of full Nelson. And I, there's this comedian who talks about how if you don't want to pick up a kid, he goes boneless and like it's impossible to pick him up. So I just did that and I went boneless and then right. I lowered my. Uh, my head down to the ground and I just kind of swung my foot up right. toward his head yeah, yeah, to let yeah. him know that I could kick him in the face if I wanted to. Yeah. But I didn't actually kick him in the face. But he was like still kind of like dazed because he didn't really, I don't know, he thought like I was trying to fight him or something. And then like, I for some reason, Chris and Rob were like, oh, he, like they were just came, th- they were my lawyers for a minute, Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, for some reason, I don't remember that. <laughs> I remember us telling him a lot that that we needed him to tell us that he, he we had good pud. He would never oh, yeah. tell us, he would never tell us that we had good pud. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like and finally and finally one day he, he's like, "All right, man, you got good pud." And we're like, "Finally, Aunt, was it that hard? Just say you got good pud." He would not. He would not let anyone. You know, he would not tell anybody that they had good pud. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean. It's Come just on. a, it's a nice compliment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pete, I'm gonna tell you right now, you got beautiful pud. Yeah, I know, Dan. You got, you got good pud too, Dan. Thanks, Pete. See, see how easy that is. See, Todd. Oh. Todd, you got good pud. Todd, nice pud. <laughs> yeah. I can't even see your pud, and it's a good pud. Yeah. And anyone else who's in the, who's in the audience, you all got good pud. See. Yeah. Everybody, high class pud, everybody. Yeah. Everybody's got high class pud. Yep. There's nothing wrong with telling people that they got good pud. If only we could work on T Stout and get him to say stuff. I know, like that. man. He would not say it. Yeah. See, Todd's pud appreciates it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand why people people just can't be like, look. It's not like saying you're gay or anything. You just be like, dude, you got good pud. See, yeah. Firecracker says thanks. You are quite welcome. Oh, I don't think I want to do that. No. How do I do this, Pete? 
I don't recall. Oh, you need the balloons, dude. Oh, yeah. ah! You need the balloons. Oof. You gotta use the balloons. That's number one, right? Okay, I'll give it a <laughs> shot. Fire crackers, Pud is forever grateful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know that's the thing. You know, you gotta every once in a while you gotta you gotta have people tell you you got good Pud. Oh shoot! You know, it brings up your self-esteem. I thought Mega Man could stand on his tiptoe on the ledge. Not, not totally, not totally. Why? Come on, Dan, you are screwing this up. All right, Todd, thank you for stopping by. I hope you check in later. My Eat friend. my shit, Todd. <laughs> oh, the Dan is Dan getting the last. Oh no! Line? Oh, my mom's. Oh no, that was Vic. She was no, saying. My mom. Yeah, Dan. No. She doesn't like you. She doesn't care that you walk around well a pants on. But when you say the S word. Around Todd. Yeah, Todd said, "See you anon." Sorry, Todd. Mm -hmm. I'll see you anon as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh shoot! Eat my balls, Dan. <laughs> Look, Todd. We. It's either you got good pud or eating his balls. It can't be everything. <laughs> All right, now I want. I want to. Uh, I want to tell people that uh, you could potentially have a seizure here. So if you got. Some sort of disorder. Just uh, keep that in mind. Yeah, I always have seizures at this part. Yeah, because the dragon comes in and then... Um, oh! Then you gotta... Yikes! Uh, then when he, like, blinks and flashes and shit. I think I told the story about how my TV almost got screwed up by uh, fighting this guy. Don't you have to use quick boomerang on yeah. him? Yeah. Boomerang. It's like quick man's Australian. Whoa, where am I? I'm invisible, mm -hmm. Pete. Whoa, how'd I get down there? I don't oh, know, Oh, shit, Dan, how'd I get over there? You got killed, Dan. Yeah, I got probably It'd probably be better if you just shot him, right? <clears throat> Remember when you went through this whole area with a just, like, your buster or whatever? Wow, I'm all the way back here? Yeah. Oh, man, you gotta get some more energy for, uh, for your thing, man. For three or what, one or whatever. I think it's one, yeah. There you go, Dan. You got firepower. So yeah, Dan, not only is he the uh, expert of uh, Minotaurs and Mega Man 2, he also, um, he's like the Connecticut State Champ Whistler, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. First and foremost, uh, th authority on blowing. Yeah. Blowing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's... That's damn funny. <laughs> uh, blowing. <laughs> that's just uh. funny. So, Dan, you were saying something about a comedian said something about your mom? Um, you, were, I, you were saying something about a comedian earlier. I don't remember what it was, though. I don't remember. Yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah, there are a ton of great ant stories. Yeah. He, and one time we were playing tag or something or hide and seek and um, near our house, and it was, uh, it was icy out. And, unfortunately, ant, like, he... Uh, that was close, Dan. Yeah. And unfortunately, um, he like fell, right? Because it was icy and he was running in the street or whatever. Luckily, no cars were there, but dude, he screamed, Ah, oh, my fucking keys! And we were like, dude, what's wrong? And he's like, I fell on my fucking keys. And like, I I totally got the pain that that guy, that he felt. Because, all right, watch out for the seizures. But yeah, man, he, and he, uh, he... I, he, I felt his pain because he landed on his keys. You ever fall on your keys, yeah, man? Yeah, I'm pretty it's nasty. sure. It's nasty. It's nasty. Mm -hmm. At the time, I was laughing, but like a little, like a couple minutes later, I was like, dude, are you okay? It's like stepping on Legos with bare feet. Oh, yeah, that's nasty. That is nasty. We're on level two, Dan. This is the hardest one, right? I don't know. I forget. This is the one where you got to save up your crash uh, shot or whatever. Really? I don't remember, Dan. It's it been like, like forever. Plenty. It's been forever. But yeah, our friends are at a wedding right now, Dan. They're kicking ass. Which ones? Uh, Chris and Rob and Dennis and. Oh, yeah. who's wedding? Uh, Dennis's sister. So I want to oh. congratulate uh, Jessica. Congratulations on getting married. Nice. You're 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 a hell of a lady. So uh, yeah, um, Dan. What? I don't know. You can do this, right? Number two. Oh, it does have a number two on it, Dan. That's the letter Z, Pete. In my little granddaughter's school, that is how they teach her to oh, make the new letter Z. Oh, what are you Z. doing, Dan? What? You're going to use this here? I don't know. Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? 
I don't know, but you need to keep that crash bomb thing. I should have gotten the E-Tank. Yeah, man, that would have been a better thing to do. Boy, I'm dumb. Yeah, well, you know, you can't all be winners, right? But you gotta make... You gotta make sure to get that crash stuff, because if you lose... Isn't there like a... Oh, look at all that little stuff you could have gotten. I know, look at all those rewards that I could have gotten. Yeah, you all you got is that one stupid thing. Whoa. Yeah, that guy can hit you, Dan. Yep. So, yeah, one thing I'm going to do also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but one thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to, um, like, every couple of hours, like, I'm gonna we're going to take, a, like, a quick five-minute break just to get up and walk around. Okay. Because you don't want, you don't want, well, I don't know about you, Dan, but you, you don't want to get wanna, a bad case of cramps. Yeah, you don't want to just sit and uh, sit with the game all day and be like, ooh, so, yeah. We will be taking moment. We will be taking momentary breaks every once in a while. Momentary moments of silence. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you gotta have a moment of silence for I the don't troops. Know. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, my my uh, Minotaur family didn't die, so that you can go around disrespecting the troops, Dan. Yeah. I got nothing else. So Dan, a lot of people been asking, what are we gonna play next? I think and Mega I Man Two. And I don't mean, and I don't mean like next as in uh, like during the stream. I'm talking about like people are wondering, what are we gonna play next? Like me and you as an LP or something. Um, what do you think? We I, I don't know, do? Dan. I don't know. Maybe Warcraft. I don't know. You're talking oh, yeah. about Warcraft. Oh yeah, I forgot about Warcraft. I hope your computer can handle it though. Oh yeah, it can handle it. Dan can Oops, practice his blowing do. and then breaks. Yeah, Dan can definitely practice blowing. Yeah. And then breaks. <laughs> That's what I do best. Yeah. Oh, Dan. Oh, yeah, and, and Dan, now you can finally mention that you're toothless, right? Yeah, I am toothless Dan now. Yeah. I did have a tooth pulled out. Yeah, he had one tooth pulled out. Yep. It's the one right in the front, like, that's most uh, visible. And then a lot of people look at him whenever he smiles, and they're like, dude, what's going on with your face? And then they start talking to me really slow. Yeah. And they're like, hey, are you okay? And then the like, I'm Dan. <laughs> and they're like, hi, Dan. And then I just go, I'm Dan. <laughs> yeah, that's usually a good way to start a conversation. Though. Yeah. Like, I'm Dan. Like even two if, introductions yeah, minimum. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and the thing about it is, is like, even if, even if people know you, like, let's say you're hanging around, I don't know, you're hanging around or whatever, your friend's house, <clears throat> just go, hi, I'm Dan. Like, <laughs> yep, we know that. And then every new person you see, you just say, hi, I'm Dan. Yep, Dan, uh, thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for letting us know that. Uh, hi, I'm Dan. Oh, no. Oh, no, again. <laughs> oh, there's those big fans, Dan. Yeah. They're big fans of you. Keeping it cool in this his house. Yeah, in, in the, uh, in the Wiley household or whatever thing. Yeah, it is summer, and the air conditioning, it's not, uh, not oh, as good. Oh, look at how nice those time. are coming out. Look, my sister, she's <clears throat> doing arts and crafts, Dan. What is she making? She's making, oh. uh, squid things or something, I don't know. Squid things. Yeah, the, from that game Splatoon I was telling you earlier about. Oh. Alright, Dan, can you do this? Yeah, I think so. What happens here? I forget. This happens. Oh, the right. Sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. The peanut butter and jelly kind. Oh, oh no. no. You're going to get killed, aren't you? No, of course not, Pete. Which you usually might... means mm. that I will be as soon as I say that. Yeah. Wasn't well, there. Oh, shit. See, Pete, Damn. I'm prophetic. I'm like a wizard. Yeah, you are. You're like that. What was his name? Gandalf. No, no, no. no Belgarath the sorcerer. Yeah, yeah. You're like Belgarath. Willow. Pete, I'm Connecticut's first and foremost authority on wizardry. Yeah. Harry right. Potter. Harry Potter. Oh, Pete, can I go on? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I dare you to do, name at least two more. La Lady Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lady Hawk. Remember that movie? It had, I think, Rutger Hauer and Michelle Pfeiffer. No, but you know what? Oh, um, darn. I am. I am. What about Beastmaster? Was he oh, a wizard? Oh yeah, he was kind of a wizard. He was like got all wizardy with uh, the beasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm I'm getting a fonder appreciation for Rudger Howard after the whole Blade Runner thing, man. It's not Howard. It's Howard. Howard. Rudger Howard. Yep. What? Rudger Howard. See, I get 
I'm disrespecting him by not even naming him by his regular name. Pete, or he's seen sea beams uh, on the. Sh uh, I mean, he's seen attack ships on fire on the shoulder of Orion, mm, and yeah. he's seen sea beams of glitter on the Tannhauser Gate. He's he's and all those things will be lost in time, like, like tears and rain. Dan, Dan, Dan. What? You said that. You know the problem with the way you said that. He improvised said, it. No, no, the the way that you said it. All right, Firecracker, thank you for, for stopping by, man. Yeah. Hope to see you later. Keep cracking those fires. Yeah, and, and remember, you got good pud. Yeah, you got great pud. Yeah. Excellent pud. Yeah. He keeps his... Like, if mm. if they if we were down for a pud mm. inspection, yeah. he would pass with flying colors. Damn right. But, yeah, so, no, the the way that you said that, Dan, you just didn't... You didn't give enough emphasis on certain things. Well, Pete, I'm not as poetic as a, yeah. as an android super being. Yeah, because, like, I would have been, like, you know... Because you got to give it, like, that... You gotta give it that pause after he says, you know, and they'd be lost, and the, you know, they're they're like memories that'd be, they're like tears in the rain or whatever. You gotta be like, give it a pause. All right, I'll put it, try to be more dramatic yeah, next then, time I mm, spontaneously mm, mm, start quoting androids. Right, right, right. And then you have to say time to die, and then just go blah. Mm. I have, I do have a pocket full of doves. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he released. did have a, he did have a pocket full of doves. Yep. He was like Prince. Yeah. I wonder if that's why Prince wrote that song, Purple Rain. I don't know. Hey, Mom, what's up? You need a drink? Oh, uh, I don't care. I'll have a coffee. Dan, you need a coffee? Oh, no thanks. No, nah, Dan's going to be only be Tea. here for another hour or two. Tea? Tea? Oh, no thanks. Wh hot whiskey? Cold uh, whiskey? No, that's Bourbon? Right. Gin? I don't know what the other ones are, Dan. Um, Turmeric? You want any turmeric? What's that? It's a, it's a spice. <clears throat> Oh, no thanks. Yeah, well, if you need any turmeric, man, you know where to go. All right. Time, you know, but not the regular time, the one with the Y. What about parsley, <laughs> sage, and? Yeah, you can use that, too. Oh, no. Oh. Everybody remembers that, that, that song because of those guys. Yeah. That's the only reason why I started using those herbs in the first place. Yep. I'm just going to say... I didn't even use sage or rosemary oh. Oh. ever, and then I heard that song, and I'm like... Simon and Garvungle are right. Yeah, I know all about cooking and herb gardens. Yeah, I know. Oh, there the secret go. is to stand on the thing where they're not going to come from, Pete. Yeah, Dan, you didn't know that? I didn't. I guess I forgot, or I'll never Watch never out know. for seizures. Yep. Oh, I almost had it. I almost had four seizures just then. Yeah, it's tough out there. I don't know why they made it flash like. Do you I think? Mean, do you think Mega Man has seen sea beams? Uh, Glittering oh, yeah. on the Tannhauser Gate. Yeah. And attack ships on fire on the yeah, shore of Orion. Un yeah, unlike unlike. Uh, what is he a Nexus Eight? Well, maybe, but unlike um, what's his name? Uh, Roy Batty. He's uh, you know his his lifespan's pretty goddamn long. What oh. are you doing, Dan? I think I'm gonna do one of these. Don't try it for it, dude. Why not? Because you're gonna waste your stuff, right? Really? Yeah, I wouldn't do it. Do I have enough E-Tanks? Yeah, you got three. You're going to be good, Dan. Last time I remember, you're the you're the best, dude. You're like, you see, look, you got all that stuff. And you just screwed it up. Thanks, MLM. Here's my coffee. Yay. That's why I don't get those unfortunate coffee S's later. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Those are the worst, right? Oh, yeah. Good old coffee S. Yeah, you get the coffee S's and then you're, you're in the bathroom all day. And you're like, oh, boy, coffee. The uh, the problem and solution to, or whatever how does that go? No, that's bar. The solution and, and cause of all life's problems. Alcohol, that's what it was. Who? Who alcohol. Is, whose problems? Everybody's. Whoa. Everybody's problems are caused by alcohol. And it's also the solution? Uh huh. Huh. He's giant fish, right, Dan? Yeah, look at him. Oh did they have water in the first game? I saw I want yeah, uh wait. Yeah, there was some in Iceman's level, war, isn't there? I think so, you're right. There's like a pool. Careful now, Dan. Pete, speaking of mechanical fish, I saw this video where um, there was a mechanical shark of some sort. Uh-huh. Oh! You forgot to scooch over just yeah, a smidge. I, was, I kind of was trying to, but I'm stupid, Pete. It happens to the best of us. Even the, the foremost expert on mechanical things that Dan is. And I'm all, I guess it also happens to the worst of us because it happened to me. Mm, yeah. And it probably happens to the last of us. Yeah, the last of us. And That's just the ten one. of us, Pete. 
Just the ten of us. That would be kind of fun to do. Just the two of us. The you last can of make us. It if you try. Yeah, you remember that time that you thought, like, there was a song that was based on, like, the Jackson 5, but it was really the Osmonds or something? Pete, do you have to bring up old mistakes that I've made? No, it's all right. I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but... but I'm, I'm, no, because I'm, I was just thinking of songs, right? Yeah. And I don't even know who sang Just the Two of Us, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Ah! Mm, there you go. Ah! There you go, Dan. Slightly almost dying every moment of the day. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, that was sort of poetic, what I just said. Wait, what? Almost dying? Par Slightly almost dying every moment of the day. Ooh. There is no other bag. Death from above. There you go, Dan. Ooh, death from the left. That kind of that was kind of poetic. Pete. Yeah, that death from the left. Yep. Yeah, if you left out the T, it sounds even better. But it's an off rhyme, Pete. It's, it has more grit oh. and more meaning than a regular rhyme. What is this? I don't remember this at all. What is, is this Bubble Man? Quick Man? I don't know, Dan. Oh, uh, Heat Man? Oh, yeah, really? No, 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 no. I don't remember. I don't remember. Just use whatever you... Ooh, that works. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember anything oh. about this guy. I remember the first time I played this game, Dan... I remember you left a comment on the video and like, dude, can I play? And then the next game we played, Mega Man 3, we, we played. Yeah, and it was boring. Yeah, dude, <laughs> going back and looking at it, it was kind of dull. But that was before, we didn't have any chemistry. Yeah. We didn't have any, now we have chemistry, like right now, like... Yeah, we can I'm talk like, about minotaurs for like an hour. Yeah, and, and I'm like oil and dance like water, or vice yeah. versa. Wait, that's not chem. that's like the opposite of... Yeah, but it works. <laughs> because like, oh no, I'm like, no, you know what, I'm still oil... Dan's vinegar. We're like, we make a good salad. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes more sense, Pete. Yeah. yeah, we can talk about minotaurs. Anything, any comment, anything you want us to talk about. Anything you don't want to hear about for an hour, we can talk yeah. about. Yeah, oh yeah. We can blather on. On and on and on and on and on and on. On and on Like the other on. people in this room are just slitting their wrists now listening to I us. I hope not, because I don't want to have to start a charity, charity stream. For the, for the people who died during my first charity stream. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. Let's see, how can I do this? I don't know, Dan. Oh, oh wow, that was really neat. I'm not an incompetent mm. idiot. Where are you going? I'm going over here to look around. Oh, wouldn't that have been funny if you just fell straight down? I guess. It would be weird, too, because you'd be like, why is that happening to me? My ankles wouldn't be laughing. No, they wouldn't. Because their ankles, probably. Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what, Dan? Do you know what the ah! what the the uh like um what the hell was it? The the uh, weakest tendon in your body is um nope the Achilles, Dan. It's oh not, yeah. It's but I'm not, not weak, but it's like the weakest point on your body. I'm apparently. not. A, but I'm not a Greek. Besides soldier. your eyes, I guess. Your eyes are effed up too. Your eyes have tendons. No, they don't have tendons, but I'm saying, like, you could poke someone in the eye, and they'd be screwed. That's, like, the worst thing to do. That and, like, hit them right in the, in the throat, apparently. I'm not, like, an MMA guy or whatever. But I'm just letting you know, guys. If you have to defend yourself, tickle them. Oh, I remembered a trick just now. You gotta tickle them. Tickle them? That's, like, Yeah, your... that's usually the best way to get out of a bar fight. You just tickle them. You go, I'm going to tickle your son of a bitch. And then what happens after that? I think they they probably beat the shit out of you. They don't just laugh and just start embracing after a while? No, no, they just beat the shit out of you. Oh. you never been in a tickle fight, have you, Dan? No, Pete. But they sound pretty rough. Yeah, they are. They're really rough. I don't think I want to be in a tickle fight No, now. no, they're crazy. You know, you get beat up. Get I mean, a pillow fight, I mean, I, I think I... Pillow fight, easy, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're way easier than tickle fights. Because the thing about a tickle fight, Dan, is you gotta get them on the ground and tickle them. Sometimes you gotta choke them. Really? That's. Yeah. Whoa, your tickle fights seem to get a little bit more. Uh... Yeah, well, I mean, Dan, if you're just doing it with your hands, it's a totally different battle. Ooh, what's this? I mean, if you were doing if you were doing a tickle fight where it was with French French ticklers, then that's a totally different. What's a thing. French tickler, Pete? It's like a it's like one of them feather thingies. The, and then um, you tickle them with it, you know, the, and you go, hee 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 hee, you know, shit like that, you know. This one doesn't have anything, because they're like, this is going to be tricky for you. 
Whoa! There you go, Dan. Look at you. I forget. I forgot about a lot of this. There's another one coming up that's gonna be tricky too, Dan. Right here, and this has things. Oh. Things, eh? Yeah. Another thing you could use here that my friend uh, Bolzone does is uh, Ooh. that was risky, Dan. Well, oh. Oh, that was super duper risky. Dan. I was gonna say I'm all about the risky business. Yeah, but uh, one of my one of my friends. The dancing in your underwear, not like not cool stuff. Yeah, not like the mixing the alcohol. No, that's Footloose. No, I don't even know what movie that is with Tom Cruise. I was just about to say Hanks, by the way. Anyways, um, no, Balzom, he uses the leaf shield here, Dan. Oh yeah. You could use that if you want. I forgot about that. You don't have to, Dan. I'm doing it. All right. Yeah, and you can just keep it on you. You don't have to ever let go. Look at this. Look at me. Yeah, he's smart. James is really smart. Yeah. He graduated like th thrice in his class. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? He graduated thrice. Is that true? No, I don't know. What's up? We need more coffee. In no, no, no. Thank you though. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. That these uh, hours that I'm gonna be by myself later this evening. Are probably gonna be pretty tough. I hope my brother gets here on time, <laughs> and then, then we can play some games. And then hopefully when Vic, hopefully when Vic gets up, you know, I'll have her play a little bit while I try to take a quick snooze. Oh, I don't even need to jump from there. No, you don't, Dan. You can just do whatever you want. Look at me taking my time, Pete. Yeah, thank you, James. There you go, Dan. Look at Vic holding a thing on the thing there. Wow. Yeah, whoa, look at those things. Yeah, those are cool things they're making. That's just crazy. Yeah, they're like in 100% cosplay mode or something. Uh, oh, yeah. Here's the last one, Dan. Can you handle it? I think so. What's uh, wrong with it? Like, why I wouldn't know. I be able to handle this? I don't know, Dan. It's all about patience. You're gonna fall. Oh, oh, crumbs. Yeah, see? I didn't know that was gonna happen. You could have died. See, now when that thing comes by, you gotta jump. Or you could use the shooty thing, yeah. Number two. I always thought it was like an eagle thing. And then today I just noticed it was a number two, Dan. Pete. And isn't that crazy? Huh. How, do, how, how do, you gonna, do you kill these guys? I don't know, but I would run like a frightened child. You only have one life left, Ooh. Dan. Oh, that's not the best. What you just did there. You, you really messed this up. I did? No. You just have to be careful of the next part. You know what the next part is? The is boss. Is it the, the thing? The boss where it's like you got... Ah. Slide. Oh, right. No sliding yet. Is there a way to do this without dying? What do you mean? To beat this level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you do it? I'll show you. Alright, you don't blow up this one. Okay. You gotta use your thing to go up there, right? Uh-huh. And then you blow up that one and blow up that one. There you go. Now you gotta use your crawly thing to get back up. See, you're only supposed to... You're only supposed to use, um... Oh, no. There you go. Now you gotta use your crash beam. If you gotta use an energy tank. You use a crash beam on that guy. Am I gonna survive this? Yeah, hit start. Hit start. There you go. Use your energy tank. Now use your crash beam on this thing right here. On what thing? When you go back. Because you're only supposed to use it twice. This here one? And here, yeah. And then you use your crash beam there, right? Uh huh. Now you gotta go get back up there and shoot across. Yeah, you can use your three. Oh no. And this one over here on yeah, the left. Yeah, because then you have to you have to jump oh, over. No. Oh no! Son of a gun, Derson. Yeah. Herb, son of a gunderson. Everyone's favorite guy. Now you just stuff. gotta shoot into that one, right? Uh huh. And then shoot again in that one. And then. And what? now, now you gotta jump over and then up, like that. Oh no! If you gotta use another energy tank, go for it. I guess. Might as well play it safe. Yeah, I mean, I think you can get more energy tanks later but yeah that's how you do it without dying oh nice oh shoot whoa oh <laughs> close oh no
Alright, now you gotta just get Can I up. Can I make this? You might be able to. What if I do it from the other side? Yeah, whatever way you want, but there you go. That's how you do it. I remember my buddy, or uh, Celtics8401, he, he was swearing up a storm at this part. Oh, my God. He I was, used to just die and come back. Yeah, because these things, the, the walls would be broken. Or something, right? Mm-hmm. So, good job, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us all day. Yeah. Honestly, it's only two hours into the 24-hour stream. It might not, honestly, it might not last 24. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It might last like 18, depending if I reach the, if we reach the goal. Huh. If we reach the goal, I might go to bed early. But the reason why I can't do uh, all day Saturday is because I have somewhere to go on Sunday. And so I can't just be like, oh, I'll stream it. Because what I was going to do is stream 8 to 8. Uh -huh. So 8 in the morning on Saturday to 8 in the morning on Sunday. But uh, I have to go somewhere in the afternoon, so I'm going to try and go to bed. Excuse me. And get a good night's sleep. Because then the next day, if you think about it, if I, like, stood up all... If I went to bed at, like... If I went to bed at, like, let's say it's over 8 and I went to bed in, the, in a little while after that, man, I would have to... I'd have to get up and then literally my whole day is done. And then I'm like, dude, I gotta go back to work? Forget that. You know, there's this great song that talks about going to work. And how it sucks. Really? What is it? It's called, uh... Going to work and it sucks? Uh, yeah, Dan, you got it. Nice. I'm good at figuring out intuitive things. Oh, shit, things you don't like have that. any flash thing for Quick Man. Oh, uh, shart. You're fucked. Damn it. Mm. Why do I have to be mm. so dumb, Pete? It's alright, you can probably be Quick Man. Dan, you used to do this without, uh... Without anything. You I were, think like, Quick Man was the one guy that I couldn't do. Maybe you gotta use his own thing against him. Really? I don't know. Did you ever try it? I don't know. Is he next? I don't know. Oh, shit. You could try, man. You never know. Is he the guy, like, the one guy who's immune to his own power? If you can get... No, shit. Look at him putting up his arm like that. Try Metal Man, maybe? No. <clears throat> oh, you're fucked, Dan. Well, it knocked him mm. Pete down. Oh, you got him, Dan. He's not that hard. Look at him running around on his tippy toes. Look at you. You beat him. Look, we were afraid. Yeah, I peed a little bit, Pete. Good job, Dan. <clears throat> no one's going to stop him. Nothing's going to stop me now. Yeah, don't stop me now. You know, I know a guy, he does some streaming, and he actually just... Sings that? No, he, he just... He plays, um... Ooh, one hit. Oh wow, dude! That was you crushed the shit out yeah, of him. Yeah, he was a sissy. Nice job, but I I know a guy. He just plays like music in the background. But the thing, re one of the reasons why I'm not gonna I... do that is probably because um I'm not gonna do it. Just you don't want to because... get kicked off YouTube, probably. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with the whole YouTube. Oh, you can't put copyrighted music, especially if I plan on like uploading this like in hour long chunks or whatever. What I'll probably do is I'll download the whole file or something. Or I might... I don't know. I don't know how long uh, they let you stream for. But what I might do is I download the file. Then break it up into hour chunks or two hour chunks maybe. Hmm. And it all depends on how long I go to be honest. How long is, has this taken so far? We are an hour and 44 minutes into it. I have a timer that we can look at when we're done here. When we get done with this level. Into the whole thing or just Mega Man? Oh, no. When we get done with this level, I can show you. Oh, okay. You all done? Uh, so, yeah. On the stream, people actually... This is what they're seeing right now. See? We've been we've been live for an hour and 44 oh, minutes. Oh, nice. 22. Yeah, and look. We got $65 at $250. I want to thank everybody who donated. You guys are awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And at the end of the stream, I will donate whatever we got. How do I beat this dude? I, I don't remember. Uh, yeah. Not that. Whoa. Bubble Man? Doesn't Bubble Man... Oh, Heat Man, maybe? We haven't used Heat yet. Oh, there you that go. That worked. Come on, charge up. Oh, fuck. Okay. I, mean, I mean, oh. Not a swear. So, yeah, at the end See of the... See how it covered up that Pete smooth. Near, near the end of the stream, I will the... 
Before I leave, I will donate whatever. Nice job, Dan. Now I think this is boomerang, man. Yeah. Oh. Keep going, Dan. You got him. Ah. Oh. You're using everything. That's okay, because the next guy, if I remember correctly... Is the last guy? Yeah, and he goes in like a figure eight or something. What happened? Where know. am I? You're right there, Dan. There you go. But yeah, at the end of the stream, I'll donate whatever... Whatever we have, I'll donate it myself, you know? And then, boom. We'll be doing good. Now, Dan, I believe that this guy goes in a figure eight, okay? All right. And you gotta use Bubble Man on him. Do, 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 and yeah, this do, one, this do, part do, always do, creeped do, me out. Do, 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 this part do, do, always do, do, creeped do, do, me out as a kid. Me man. too. Because it was quiet, and then you got like these little. And he's got acid for blood. Yeah, he... he's got blood. Like it's creepy, Dan. Look at these blood. Just blood. Yeah, if the Crips came in here, they would not be happy. No, they wouldn't. I've never seen anyone get hit by the blood before, Dan. Nice really? job. Sorry, Pete. I know, you can't live up to my standards. I get it. You're doing a hell of a job, though. I'm telling you right now. Thanks. Yeah, so the, he's going to come out and he's going to turn into an alien. And then at, this was the point where I started believing in aliens. What happens if I lose to him? Do I, is there a way I can get bubble powers back? I don't know, Dan. Oh. You gotta get in the middle. Uh-oh. I think I'm about to... Be... I don't... Th Maybe I should save it. Whatever you want, Dan. How do I get... How do I get powers back? You don't. So if I mess this up, I'm screwed? I don't know, Dan. I think so. Maybe. You uh, could do it. Right? It's a figure eight. But what if I'm, like, stupid? Yeah, you might be a little stupid, but... You'll be fine. And if you're not fine, ah. then... I don't know what to tell you. Everything is not fine! Just think... Just try to be, like, your inner Conan the Barbarian. You know? I know that's one of your favorite characters. Yeah. In all literature and everything else. Uh-huh. Or be your inner Ripley, but from Alien 1. Alright. What about Alien 3? I don't know. I don't know which ones you like. I like 1, 2, and 3. Yep, Abel said if you run out of bubbles, you're screwed until game over. Oh, really? Yeah. Fooey. Look at that. You did it. You did it. Timing and patience. Yep. Now you just gotta be Alien Wario. Wily. Whatever. Your dog meat, pal. Mm, yeah. Get we'll it? That's you... an Aliens reference. Oh, really? Yep. I've never seen it. Really? Yeah. Pete, yeah, I'm shocked. I'm going to put you in a body bag. There you oh. go, Dan. Is that... Now just try not to get hit, like, a <sighs> lot. I'll try not to, but I'm not... Ugh. You're doing uh, fairly decent. Uh-oh. Oh, I wasted that one. My butthole is clenched as tight as a pinhead <laughs> beat. I think one more, Dan. Oh, oh no, so close. That's okay, you got a game over, and that might mean that you start back there, maybe? Really? Maybe. Ooh. Yeah! Do I get full health? Probably, and you get, uh, I think, four... Oh, no. What? I was gonna say, you got four energy tanks, too, but mm. that's not the case. All right, Dan, you can do this, right? I think so. Mono a mano. Or mono a alien. Mono a alien. So you have the drippy blood from oh, Castlevania. Oh. Is that really where that's from? That's where I always assumed it was from. Or at least after this I saw it in Castlevania. And then I'm like, woo, Castlevania. I'm just going to arbitrarily side with Mega Man as being the source of this drippy blood. Right, 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 right. Well, the thing about it is I don't think you can kill him. Kill who? The blood. No, you can't kill it. And it doesn't even make noises when you're when you're walking by. That's creepy. Yeah, well, that's creepy, Dan. This reminds me of Castlevania 2 a little bit, though. You remember? 
Uh, I don't. Rem- I don't mm. remember that. You don't remember anything about Castlevania? Too? I remember the game. I don't remember the blood part. Yeah, I don't know if there was blood. But it reminds me of the music in the end, and then like how it was different. And it was good. People always bitch about like, oh, how come Dracula's castle doesn't have any bad guys in it? I think we talked about it because he was he was selling real he was selling his house and he needed everybody out of it. Oh. That was unfortunate that Simon Belmont happened to show up at that time. Yeah, I know. He killed him, so then... Like, he had no the, henchmen to protect him. Yeah, when, them. when the realtor came by to uh, show that he show the, the uh, house off, he saw Dracula's dead body there. And uh, that, as we say, is that. Unfortunately, they didn't get to sell the house off until much oh, later. Oh, no. Oh, um, no. They did not get to sell off the house of Dracula. Oh, no. And whoever sold that, I don't know what the percentage was that the realtor made off of Dracula's house. Because you know Dracula. He's always moving. Look at that, Pete. Good job, Dan. High five. Kaboom. Yeah, I gave him a high five. Look. He just had an pro- alien probe or something. Yeah. Oh, Mega Man's face disappeared. Yeah, that happens sometimes on the simulator. Whew. This is Nestopia. Huh. But yeah, Dan, you beat the game. Nice job. Yay. Thank you, thank you everybody for hanging around for that. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. We're not going to watch the whole ending, though. We'll just watch this part. Oh, what about the him walking in the mm. Yeah, we'll watch. We'll watch that. <laughs> but forget those credits. Dan, is there any other game you want to try or do anything else? Uh, hmm. Anything in particular? I got... we, are we gonna try Doom or? Uh, Doom might be like I said. Doom might be too complicated to get. What uh, didn't somebody say they had like an emulation version or something? They have like a third. Uh, let me see what Ware said. Um. Uh, Doom on the 32x, the Sega 32x. That, that means you'd have to use a controller though. Oh, I can try it. Oh, well, I'd have to get it then. Okay, that's fine if you don't have it. I don't have it on me at the moment, no. Do you have something that I would know? Um, like a shooting game or like, what, what are you thinking? Uh, do you have a shooting game? Do I have a shooting game? I don't know. Do I? I'm trying to think of something. But yeah, we're going to actually, um, now that we beat Mega Man, we're going to take just a few minutes. We'll figure out what... What games we got, and then uh, we'll be right back. So we're just gonna take like a, a five-minute break, everybody. Don't go anywhere, or go take a leak, whatever. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. 